From being eaten by one to a double shark attack during surfing, these are some of the worst shark attacks in history. Welcome back to ARK. Today we'll be deep diving into the deadliest and most horrific shark attacks of all time. Before we do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to make sure you never miss a video. Viewer discretion is advised as we navigate the treacherous waters of the worst shark attacks in history. So what is the worst shark attack in history? Well, let's go back in time to the 30th of July 1945. It's the Second World War and the USS Indianapolis has been sent on a top secret mission to deliver a bomb that would later be dropped on Hiroshima. The mission was successful, but as they were heading back home, Japanese submarines attacked, leaving 300 out of 1,195 troops to drown and the rest be subjected to the worst three days of their life. Without food, drinkable water or life jackets, the surviving troops were slowly becoming surrounded by a frenzy of hungry sharks. By the time a seaplane came to rescue the remaining troops three days later, only 320 of the 800 plus sailors were alive. It's estimated that at least 150 of the survivors died from shark attacks, going down as the largest shark attack in history. Prior to this, the biggest shark attack to have happened in recorded history was the Jersey shark attacks of 1916. This was a series of shark attacks that happened around the coastal shore of New Jersey between the 1st and 12th of July 1916. At the time, a heat wave and polio epidemic in the United States drove most people to the beach, alerting sharks to the shore of the waterside and subsequently led to what is now known as the Jersey shark attacks of 1916. The first attack occurred on the 1st of July, with the victim being 28-year-old Charles Van Sant visiting New Jersey on vacation. Charles decided to take a quick swim before dinner. Unfortunately, he didn't know that the decision was going to cost him his life. The shark attacked Van Sant's legs. He was rescued alive but bled to death at the resort's hotel. On the 6th of July, a Swiss bellman, Captain Charles Bruder, was the next victim. Bruder swam 130 yards from shore when he was attacked in the abdomen and legs. Bruder was rescued, but he bled to death before they got to the beach. The following two attacks happened at Matawan Creek on the 12th of July. Some boys playing at the stream noticed something that seemed to be a board or log, which turned out to be a shark's dorsal fin. They tried to get out of the water, but the shark pulled 11-year-old Stillwell underwater. The other boys went to get help, and a couple of men came and dived into the water to find Stillwell, believing he must have had a seizure. Fisher Watson found Stillwell's body, and in an attempt to take it offshore, he was also bitten in the thigh by a shark. He was rushed to the hospital where he bled to death. Stillwell's body was recovered on the 14th of July, 1916, the same day as the final attack. This attack was on Joseph Dunn, a 14-year-old who had his leg bitten by a shark. Dunn was rescued by his brother and a friend after a battle with the shark. Joseph Dunn was hospitalized and recovered a few months later. The Jersey shark attacks of 1916 led to a shark hunt and towns closing their public beaches with nets to protect swimmers. Nowadays, shark safety is taken a lot more seriously. However, this hasn't stopped attacks from happening. One of the rarest shark attacks in history was surfer Shannon Ainsley's story. Ainsley was just a teenager when she was rushed by two 13-foot beasts, one going for his head while the other lunged for his torso. And if it wasn't for his surfboard, he wouldn't be here to tell the story. We spoke to Ainsley on the 23rd anniversary of the attack, where he recounted that terrifying moment. Hello, hello. I'm Shannon Ainsley. I'm an Arctic surfer living in the Lofoten Islands in Norway. I am from South Africa, and as you can see behind me, I've been attacked by not one, but two four-meter great white sharks. It happened a long time ago about uh, 21 years ago at a place called East London in South Africa. Um, the place has really good waves. It's quite famous for sharks and shark attacks. And uh, my incident happened so quickly and unexpectedly that I had no idea what was going on. I remember just paddling for the wave and all of a sudden I got hit off into the sky. And uh, while that was happening, 
to catch no one stayed in the water to help me out so i'm like looking around waiting for these sharks and expecting them to come back for me and i just like paddled and i was crying and freaking out and praying to god for help and miraculously i caught a wave and got out safely and i made it to the beach so i was super thankful to survive that and um i i actually thought i was going to quit surfing i was convinced of that but two days later i decided that i would Definitely try surf, but just not surf the same place again. Um, I have surfed the same place again, and um, I haven't um, had any sh or any more shark encounters there. But I have had more shark encounters um, about 500 meters from where I had previously been attacked. I was bumped off my board by a shark, and uh, then the shark just swam away. Um, and then a year after that, um, I was surfing in another place and uh, just before a contest started, someone got attacked by a shark behind me and um, long story short, everyone bailed and went to the beach to try to save them, themselves and I was one of those trying to do that but as I kind of got close to the shark to try to get past it, the surfer popped up alive next to the shark. So. I decided to stay and to help him out and um, he managed to survive which is good um, yeah so now um, I'm a surf coach I'm the coach for the Norwegian national team I'm living in Norway I escaped the shark infested country in South Africa to come surf the Arctic waters here because there are no sharks it's quite nice to surf here and have a peace of mind knowing that there aren't any big predators after me This horrifying incident is still the only double shark attack on a human ever recorded. Thanks for watching. Ark.